mate, the Project Bangkok water test, 10 out of 10. This is an incredible pull. I won't say the bad things are about living in uh, the Lion Condo. How good to have this right on your doorstep. Hello, welcome to Swaddy Crab. My name is Rob, and today we're here in the Ramanayan area of Bangkok. It's actually one of my favorite areas in the whole of the city. And not only that, we're going to be checking out the Lion Condo, which is just seen behind us here, in amongst all of the local area here in Ramanayan, these mega condos. And I'm happy to be sharing you one of the condos that I was actually looking to move into a few years ago. And well, it's all coming up in today's video. So like I said, previously I've been searching for condos in this row. There's actually a row of different condo blocks here. You've got the Ashton, which is behind me, which I've previously done a video on. Next door to that is an office block, and then the line, which we're going to be checking out today, and then Knightsbridge Prime. You've got IDEO on the other side here, but I've actually seen condos in every single one of these, and out of all of them, the line condo block itself is actually one of the best ones. So I'm happy to be sharing that with you guys today. Now, let's talk about the local area, because literally just across the road here is the condo itself. And then you've got all of this local Rama 9 area, which is one of my favorite areas in Bangkok, like I've probably mentioned, and I'll probably mention a million times again. But this is where you get all your local street food. You get all your, your barbecue chicken, you're gonna get your coffees, your chan on yen. You got the little local market just up here where you can get all your fresh fruit and veg. And all of these back streets, there's probably about a hundred of them. And I'm actually gonna be coming back shortly to try and cover as many as I can. But this is where you're gonna find all of your, your best kind of Thailand and uh, Bangkok gems in terms of like food and stuff to look at and just, just having a good time. It's just so good to have this right on your doorstep. And about 100 meters away, about a two minute walk away from the condo itself, which is just down there, we have Fortune Town IT Mall, which is a huge electronics mall. You can get all your camera stuff. There's a few food courts in there and also a Tesco Lotus supermarket right down the end so you can get all your groceries. While we're here, we might as well talk about the transport links as well because we've got the uh, Praram 9 MRT station, which is about two stops away from the Asok main intersection where you can change to the BTS or you can go one stop further north to the Thailand Cultural Center and go to the one ratchet market there. And then there's a big sea as well, just further down the road. There's a bunch of stuff all around this area. Again, while we're stood here, we've got the central Ramanine shopping mall here. I think it's a central plaza shopping mall, huge shopping mall. And um, yeah, you can just get all your shopping needs, basically. It kind of needs no introduction. And you can't be in Rama 9 and not mention the Jod Fairs at Night Market, one of the busiest, most popular night markets in the whole of Bangkok. Great if you're here on holiday, not so much if you're an expat living here, but saying that, they definitely have a wide selection of food for you to come and choose from, and it's just across the road. Not only that, they've got the one Ratchet, just one stop north, there's just a bunch of night markets all in this area, so all of that's covered as well. So that will do for the Rama 9 area. I actually have a dedicated video kind of explaining a bit more about why I love it so much, especially the back streets and all that. I'll leave the link down below for that. Let's go and check out the facilities over at the line. A lot of the buildings along here have incredible facilities, but this one, this particular one, is one of the best out of all of them. Not only do they have this incredible pool, and uh, mate, the Project Bangkok water test, 10 out of 10. This is an incredible pool. The sun's just coming over. It's about 11 o'clock at the moment. So the majority of the day, the pool is in the sun, and you're just gonna get just a really good experience. And obviously the epic view of Rama 9 as well. They've got some chill spots here in the shade, if that's your kind of thing. They've got uh, an incredible kind of little jacuzzi section here and a bunch of little garden sections dotted all over the building itself, located on different floors. They have them up on the roof. They have them down here to just sit, relax and enjoy the view. It is a bit hot sometimes on certain sides, but then you can always just switch over to another side and enjoy a different view. They also have a really good sized fitness room with a bunch of machines 
means all kind of new equipment as well, well looked after, nice space if you want to do some stretching, some yoga, whatever you need to do and get your workout done in the fitness room. Also the co-working space is really big, not only that it has an epic view of the city as you can see behind me here which I've probably harped on about a million times already and it's just a nice place to sit, chill and enjoy the place that you're living in, not only to relax but to work and obviously the beautiful Rama 9 you can see behind me. So like I said, out of all of the condos that I've actually viewed on this stretch, this building has the best facilities in my opinion and uh, I'm sure you'll agree looking at them as well. Okay, that's gonna do for the facilities. Let's go and check out the room. All right, so I'm here with Mark. He's actually one of our subscribers. He reached out to me and said he's here for a few more days and wanted to share this beautiful condo. So, well, firstly, thank you for sharing it with us. So this is a one bed unit, uh, 34 square meters? 34 square, 34 square, 34 meters, square yeah. meters. And he's just here for a few more days. So we're gonna check it out and get out of here. So let's start with the kitchen here. We're just at the entrance. You've got a really nice modern kitchen, actually. You've got a brand new washing machine. Is it a washer dryer or just a washer? Washer dryer. You, can, you do kind of get all the mod cons actually with these uh, newer style condos. Really nice brand new fridge here, LG. Uh, I won't open it, I'm sure he's got plenty of beers in there. You got like, what I like about these is kind of like the dark design. You got like the tinted mirror at the back here. You got all the tinted frosted glass. Uh, you can actually kind of like just see through all of the glass here and everything that's going on. And they kind of got just like all the silly things like pulling out the drawers like this and it's all the little things that add up and even Mark here behind me is uh, pointing out a little hidden cupboard for you to put all of your, all your jewelry I guess, or your jewelry or I don't know all of your dodgy stuff whatever you've got going on that you need to hide it's just all, all of your all, my millions. all these millions yes yeah, so you know exactly where to find all of Mark's millions <laughs> it's just uh, silly things like just having like just drawers here you said there's plenty of storage in this unit right um just drawers drawers upon drawers silly things like this just pull out chairs uh to sit storage in the chair of course there's storage in the chair and just a really beautiful and well-designed condo this view out of the window is where is it? it's a construction site isn't it yeah it's it's construction site but for the most part mark was saying that the noise is actually really good and you'll probably find that these windows you get in the modern condos will really drown out the construction not only that uh this is finishing soon on the other side i've actually seen it uh, i can just show you out the glass here they got some construction work going on. If you were looking at something like this and wanted to buy and you saw construction like this uh, and you thought, I don't want to look at a car park if I was living somewhere on this floor, which is the, the fifth floor, I believe, I would kind of look at it and think, well, perhaps when they're finished outside here, they might actually plant a bunch of trees. So you could be in this unit looking at a bunch of trees instead of a car park. So try not to look at places like this and think, oh, I wouldn't want that as my view, because in actual fact, maybe in a few months, you might be looking at a bunch of trees outside. And it'll be way better than how it looks well today sorry <laughs> all right so this is the bedroom um unfortunately no tv on the wall but again you know if you're renting here long term you could probably talk to um like the the owners or the or the agent or whoever's dealing with it and get a tv fitted exactly yeah everything's kind of in place again really uh, amazing storage frosted kind of see-through glass i love i love all that style i love kind of like the, the black and gold design um obviously hence black and gold all the time and uh, this leads out onto the balcony as well uh, only well I'd say only a small balcony but to be honest you can get a table and chairs out here sit out here in the evening and just chill out watching Bangkok but like I said if they had more trees here which they're going to do because they'll want to separate each of the buildings it's gonna be pretty good all right and the bathroom which is a little bit echoey so bear with me uh, rainhead shower as you can see here normal shower places to put your stuff Really easy, really modern, nice light in here, which Mark didn't even know about actually, until I found a switch for him. It's just, it's a nice bathroom. It's just really clean, really modern, and uh, everything just, I don't know. Yeah, it's just really, really nice. So yeah, this is the one bed unit, very nice. All right, so like I said, uh, Mark's coming to the end of his tenancy, and you've been standing here for a little while now, you've had a little bit of experience. You love the Rama 9 area. Uh, which I told you guys about before already. And what would you say the bad things are about living in uh, the Lion Condo? The main bad thing for me is crossing the road. Okay, yeah, the, the main road on the outside, yeah, right? The longest I've waited one time was 40 minutes in peak out across the road. Yeah, okay, no problem, no problem. How much does it cost to stay at the line? 
Uh, it stays 20,000 Thai baht per month. Okay, and that's for his particular unit that he's in, and that's a bit of a special price. And there are other units available. They may be more, they may be less, but for the most part, that's an incredible price for a condo in such an amazing location, incredible view, and everything else that we've shown you in today's video. I'll put all of the conversions on the screen. Thank you, Mark, for showing us around today, and we'll catch you on the next video. Peace.